Jan Adzik is here to explain. So let's begin with the exhibit at the Aga Khan Museum. What does it say about contemporary art in Iran? Well, essentially that it's incredibly diverse and it's not what you think. This image that you're seeing right here with the pink bubble come popping, it doesn't get more contemporary than that. It's a commentary on some women who try so hard to embody a Western image. She's got contact lenses, perhaps a nose job in the works, blonde hair, that sort of thing. These are images that are trying to provoke. They are trying to bring, bring forth some new ideas, some new concepts, and it's all from the private collection of Muhammad Afkami. Now, I'm going to give you a look at a few of the other works, and key to them is this idea that we're not as different as some people might think. There is unity, ultimately, uh, with all people, and there's, there's this exhibit would like to focus on what is singular, what connects us, the unifying ball. It's also really contemporary in the sense that there are some video installment pieces, and then you do have some more traditional pieces like paintings, but they're done in a collage-like way, which keeps them very modern. Also, uh, photography's in there, and then this incredible sculpture. Michael, it's made of wire. I'm going to give you a look at it right now. This is, you don't see it from afar, but just mm -hmm. one hang on one little second, and you'll see how intricate, how delicate, wow. and uh, so many of the works that come out of Iran, they, they do embody that kind of delicacy, mm -hmm. but rendering them on these kinds of objects, it really does make them kind of not modern, not to mention neon, which you can see the lighting there. So I'm going to give you a listen now to the person who owns this collection and shared them. And, and it's coincidental, they didn't plan it right now, but now that the ban is on that we've been talking about, this is what Mohammed Afkami had to say. We're living in a continually integrated global society and to try to create a them and us atmosphere is not only illogical, but also uh, not in the spirit of humanity. You know, we are living together on this planet. We're all the same. We might have different faiths, but at the core, we all share certain fundamental tenets. So that is on at the Aga Khan Museum in Toronto until June. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let's also talk about MoMA right now because Museum of oh. Modern Art in New York uh, is, has a display of its uh, art from the region as well but with a different twist. Yeah, a twist that is a statement, Michael, because this is the museum saying that we are going to take down works by Picasso for now. We're going to take down works by Matisse and other very, very famous uh, artists, and we're going to instead put up works from artists who represent, they come from, one of the seven countries that are currently facing that Trump ban, including this one here that you're looking at, Tala Madani. She makes these animations. By the way, the stop-motion animation videos that she, you're looking at right now that mm -hmm. she makes, they consist of over 2,000 painted images per minute. Wow. Just incredible, yeah. So she's LA-based. She often talks about you know men make, making them kind of vulnerable, and uh, it's just a, a comments on society in general. Then another one to give you a look at, who happens to have some Canadian connections here, uh, and and that is Parviz Tanavoli. That is a sculpture by him. He's also based in Vancouver. So yeah, some incredible uh, artists on display at MoMA. Picasso out. Some of these Muslim artists are in.